have discussed about uh, how to take a variable and how to assign variable value right and how to print the variable uh, inside the system.debug so far okay now i'm gonna go and talk about something called collection you as a developer okay have to know about something called collection collection is a framework okay if you are coming from java background or uh, other background right you would be knowing about collection very well. without collection uh, uh, coding would be very tough right in salesforce also we use the collection salesforce collection that we use is just list set and map we don't use the um, next level deep level of collections like you know hash table hash map whatever you have in java it is just with a simple list set and map it is sufficient for you go ahead and write any code that you want okay so what is collection let's understand that. the variable can hold only one data what if i want that this variable called subject should hold java and apex and cpp how can i do that i mean if you are thinking that i can do like this i can take another three variable like subject one subject two subject three and uh, like what we did over here right all courses this is called concatenation right this is not um, you are holding multiple value inside the same variable now what if i want to hold all these three values inside the same variable this is where collection comes in the picture what is collection collection is a data structure we use uh, there are three types of collection list set and map we're going to learn these three collections okay because in your apex coding every single class and method that you write you cannot do it without using this list set and map okay we're going to go and learn these three things very deeply we will go and implement uh, a couple of code as well just to get a hang of it okay first let's get started with list what is list let's understand this theoretically what is list okay list is basically a collection a data structure which can hold multiple data your variable a normal string type of variable can hold only one data but if it is a list variable can hold multiple data okay and in you know the list looks like this let me just open up my pen so collection is been divided into three different part right one is list another is set and we have call map okay there are three different reason we use either list or set or map in our apex coding okay again i'm i'm just suggesting you do not think about what is the use of this list set and map in the real time coding right we will connect the dot once you learn about this thing very deeply okay so this is just again the abcd of apex coding is what we are learning this is very basics if you're coming from already from java background or any other coding background you must be knowing about these things very well so if you know this very well you can uh, increase the speed of the video and you can move a little forward but if you're coming from non it non coding background you can understand this list set and map very deeply in next few videos okay so what is list or else what is collection collection is nothing but just like a box okay in this box let's say i have 10 uh, subjects i have total 10 subjects that i have to enter in a variable so now you cannot hold 10 subjects in a variable because it can remember the last one that's why we have seen instead you will take a list variable this is a list okay now list works like this so here you will put the subject 1 immediately once you add another value called subject 2 it will create one more this is called node okay this is one more node here and it will be like subject 2 immediately once you add another subject it will create one more box end of this list and then subject 3 so like that you can create n number of subjects and you can keep adding in the end of the list correct list now this entire thing is called a list variable your list variable is a variable which can hold this 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 and this all the variables n number of variable you can just keep adding the values and then automatically it will create one more box at the end and it will keep adding that variable makes sense 
so normal variable can hold only let's say this particular uh, subject and if you enter s2 subject 2 it will remember only s2 not s1 correct but list variable can hold s1 s2 s3 s4 sn right so list is a data structure which we use in our apex coding which will help you to hold multiple values that's what list right now just to make sure you uh, still connect the dots right let me just give you a real time example suppose i got a requirement the requirement is this you have lead object okay and lead object has total suppose 1 millions of lead 1 million lead records you have you have to find in the lead object in the database you have to find that lead i mean those leads where let's say city is bangalore right there are suppose 100 leads out of this 1 millions of lead there are 100 leads where city is bangalore now let's say you have to find all 100 leads where city is bangalore and you have to hold it in a variable now do you think you can hold that variable uh, hold that uh, hold all the records all 100 records inside a variable you can do it right instead you need you need a list right so you know uh, lead one lead two lead three like that it will keep inserting this is the use of a list this is a use of a collection collection is a data structure which can help you as a developer to hold multiple data variable is again a data structure which can help you to hold only one value by the way list also is a variable but uh, a normal variable uh, like a string variable can hold only one value and the collection variable we can hold multiple values so this is the theoretical part of what is list let me go and write few codes where i'm going to show you how to take a list and how to insert data inside the list